Hi folks, so today I am going to be giving you a tour of one of the first big mind test projects that myself and various friends of this channel uh, have worked on. It's called Castle Village and it's on a server uh, called Red Cat Creative. Now, uh, I'm probably not going to be coming back to this castle because uh, Red Cat Creative are supporting uh, 0.4% uh, 0.4 version of mind test. And as a result of that, newer versions of mind test versions that are included in the Ubuntu repositories, for example, even the LTS ones, uh, are 5.0, which are not compatible with this. So in order to play this, you need 0.4 version of mind test. And in order to do that, you need to go back either into the archives. And it gets a bit complicated then. I assumed at some point that they would up upgrade their server or upgrade the version. They haven't so far, so I thought, you know, for reasons I'm not privy to, uh, they're keeping things as they are, which is fine, it's their prerogative, it's their server. Uh, but since I, I suppose I'm going to be saying farewell to this, I fired up an old version of Mind Test, and today I'm going to be showing you the work of a lot of people. Now, this has grown a lot, even since the last video. The last video is available on this channel. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's, uh, let's, let's hop on in. It will almost certainly uh, go at uh, transition into night time during this particular um, uh, tour so I'll try and handle that best I can so this is worked on probably by about eight nine people uh, over the course of its this building uh, and it has been around for maybe a couple of years um, although we tend to work on it in fits and starts um, it's all creative, so all of these blocks are sort of unlimited and available. So I'll take you through the castle grounds to begin with. I'm not going to be able to show you every nook and cranny of this building, so you can see some of the towers go way up into the distance there. Uh, we'll be looking at a couple of those. Um, so I believe this is... I want to say scratches. Some of them are scratches. Uh, that there is... Um, oh my word. I think if I if I pull up the um, the GUI, it might uh, it, it might offer up some some clues, but uh, because of the way that, that this is set up, I, I don't really want to do that. So we'll just take a nice walk through the grounds. These grounds are new since the last version of the video. I think this is like Lucifer's uh, castle, the black one. You can see the, the rest of it is actually sort of still loading in now. I've tried to sort of preload as much of it as possible, but this is a really big castle. This is a multi-denominational chapel, one that I am quite fond of, actually. So we can go in here. Uh, lovely, like, I love the timber um, beams on the inside. That's very nice. Stained glass window. Lovely colour scheme. Uh, that is a gate. I think Cybrus made that gate. I'm, I really do apologise if I misattribute uh, any of the... Uh, any of the fine work that's, that's been done here. So this is this is like the main courtyard of the castle. Uh, my, uh, my keep is that big red one there. Probably the uh, biggest in terms of the surface area on the ground of the keep. Actually saying that, Lucifer's might be bigger. Uh, there's a party village over there which is not a keep, it's a village, so I guess that doesn't quite count. So that's, uh, that is uh, Lucifer's... Uh, of its section there. Well, we'll hop in that. There's actually not that much on the inside of it, whereas, not to, to brag, but there's a lot of twisty, turny, and, and nicely designed internals in, in my castle there. Um, so this is the courtyard. This was a hole. I can't remember who built the hole, but someone built like a hole in all of this in like one day, never came back to it, didn't really know what to do with it. We didn't want to undo their work, so we built an artificial garden on top of it which I thought was quite amusing. I love the little stairways. Like, one of the things I do like about this, and in some ways I feel that like I made a mistake with other castle designs, uh, is that the other castle designs have, have been becoming, like, a little bit too formal. And as a result of that, um, it's kind of difficult to sort of grow it out and expand it in sort of... Um, in, in, you know, when, when you get bursts of creativity and you want to do something a little bit off the wall, a little bit um, unusual, uh, having, like, a formalised, gridded castle design uh, can make things a little bit difficult. Difficult when you've got something that's very organic and grows up over time like this, with nothing being completely um, symmetrical or perfectly shaped. It's all very, you know, like I say, organic. Then um, 
then you've got you know it makes for a very interesting design so this is yeah this is the courtyard again this is my keep so this big base part here was actually built after uh, there was actually a big there was there was a big mound of uh, earth that came up to meet the front of the castle which was here at one point now it's uh, on the side uh, there's a secret I don't know if you call it a secret but a, a lesser known side door there uh, there's a little um, I suppose sentry tower there that can uh, that can sort of see people coming in so I believe the Sun is setting at the moment so I'm going to take you through the garden here a little well you know nice seating all that business and this uh, this takes us up here so these are uh, these are rooms where people can stay I would I'd say these are guest rooms guard rooms staff and guests can stay here they're not particularly uh, frivolous these are these are my colors in this medieval realm of um, silver and vert as the heraldic term is French uh, this is the library this is not in my this is my keep but my personal quarters are through this door so my my door my um, quarters uh, are between the keep courtyard and the library so I sort of live between the two which is very nice I think many people would use a nice big uh, stone fireplace there um, and I've got oh, tripped on the stairs there uh, and I've got a bedroom here it's quite a small modest bedroom um, I've got a computer and printer for some reason but there we go uh, this room here never worked out anything to do with it I don't I, you know it's a little bit of space I, I've not really, as you can see, the sun has has set now. You can get a nice nice view outside, actually. I've never fully worked out what to do with this room. I would imagine a guest's living area, you know, like a, a living room, drawing room, that kind of thing. This is the bathroom. Nice, spacious bathroom. Got a shower, of course. Sinks, toilets, all that kind of stuff. In all honesty, it's a bigger bathroom than we need, but it's kind of nice. Perhaps could have done some carpeting, or maybe well, not necessarily carpeting, some tiling. Perhaps I don't know. This is probably the the room that would I would if I were to continue uh, with this uh, uh, with this uh, castle. Oh, mistake! Uh, there's a sawmill in the corner, so that you can actually cut bricks of unusual shapes. So, for example, you can get this nice stone arch here. This is the front of the keep my keep at least You've, uh, you got all that uh, this where does this go down see I'm still remembering a lot of this I sort of know ah, and this comes up by the multi-denominational chapel which is nice and then you can take the another back door into the oh the red floor of the so these rooms are a little bit nicer uh, for guests as well so we've turned a couple of the floors into hotels and little reading areas of course around the back as well these are just some quite nice reading areas I've quite fond of and oh it's back to daytime is it oh, the day night cycle seems a bit a bit faster here so there we go uh, you can see a ship down there that is scratch's ship friend of the channel of course I don't know what that thing is over there in the distance um, that there, I believe, is a is a gate, not completed. The design of it is completed, but the actual function of it is a, as a, as a gate. Uh, I believe it has something to do with Thundercats. Maybe I don't know. Didn't watch the show. And this goes out into the courtyard. So a lot of the courtyard initially looked like that sort of that that dry grass, and then we turned it into uh, we sort of terraformed it into a, a nicer greener grass um, but all the keep all the battlements you can uh, you can move along I'll carry investigating into the keep but I won't be going into the keep of every single building so this is the red floor and it's quite well lit as you can uh, tell what's down there oh down here is the dining hall as you can see nice big dining hall uh, lots of candles, lots of lights, you got a bar, lots of uh, beer, lots of wine. 
uh, there. I'll tell you what, we can go through these uh, these underground tunnels. Um, because they do spiral staircase. And as you know, of course, they go up um, this way because they go up in a, in a clockwise formation because most people being right-handed uh, would brandish, of course, brandishing a sword with their right hand. It's much harder to do fighting up a clockwise spiral staircase than a, than a counter one. So if you're on if you were occupying the, the spiral staircase keep, you would be able to hook round with your, your sword rather than um, and, 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 and have an advantage over those. Um, uh, have an advantage over those trying to invade. So, uh, that is a spiral staircase there. I know it kind of looks like a well, um, but it's actually... Uh, not okay. Also, by the way, you can go around the back of my uh, my building here into the library. So we've got library, the blue floor, which is basically the same as the red floor, and there we go. Got the red floor, and then yeah, it goes down. So it goes library, blue floor, red floor. Excellent. There was a time when all of this was just one big massive room. Didn't you know? Took took a while to work out what to do. You know, work out something to do with it. And then this comes up, there's the garden here. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to go up these stairs, and I'm also going to go up these stairs. Yeah, because sometimes, like these stairs though, for example, we've got the stairs that go up onto the battlements here. And also, oh yeah, one of my favourite gardens. One of my favourite gardens here. Which is this little, oh yeah. It's the biggest, the biggest oak tree, I believe, that, uh, that resides in the castle. Lovely little reading garden. Much of one of the lesser known reading gardens, despite the fact it has a big tree in it. Uh, which is pretty cool. And you can see a lot there. I've decided to put on the uh, viewing distance rather than the unlimited viewing distance just so that I can keep my frame rate down because it loads a lot and I've loaded a lot of this castle pre into memory so that you get a a good grasp as to, as to what it looks like. But that's basically the keep. Um, we can head, carry on heading up. Uh, I will head up to the top there but I won't be heading to the top of the other keeps, basically because you would just be seeing a, a good couple of hours of just me doing this and this and this and try not to get dizzy. It's just, you know, doesn't make for the most entertaining of videos and to be honest with this particular tour I just want to give a, a sort of a, a, a general feeling of what we were trying to do here. I don't know if you can see the, some of the clouds moving through the... Also you may notice a lot of the castle being made of wood. That is, uh, of course, by design, because, oh yeah, there's another saw there from the construction project, yeah. And then going up here. Right up to the top. Okay, that's, yeah, Scratch's Tower. And then there's, uh, Lucifer's Tower over there, which actually has not loaded in, so I will... I will just fly over to his tower. There we go. And the reason that's important is because he's got an Eye of Sour on there. There we go. Uh, so I think Scratch has the... he wins the tallest tower competition. And as you can see... Yeah, like I... Not too far. That is, I think Ben Rob tried to do that a long time ago where he tried to build a tree trunk. And I'm just gonna... I'm gonna fall back to the bottom. Oh, I hope I don't die. No, we don't die on this server. Okay. But there we go, that's my keep. I'm quite proud of it. It probably has a few more bits and pieces to it that I have neglected. And, um, but I don't think so. So. This is... Oh, I can't quite remember whose this is. But it's quite nice, if I remember correctly. It has a large library in it. Um, 
And I have, yeah, I've actually gotten lost in this before. This is another one of those castles, like if, if you know, like to, to, to build a good sort of mind test fantasy castle, you want to have the risk of getting lost in it, right? So yeah, I'm, I'm going to just sort of, there is like library elements to this, isn't there? Oh, this part, oh, this part hooks into some of the underground uh, caves and all that kind of stuff. That's pretty cool, because there is a network of underground caves, which you will see very shortly. Uh, Mind Test, of course, is available um, in many different formats on the Linux operating system. It will most likely be in your distributions repositories. Uh, however, there is also uh, a flat pack available from FlatHub. Um, and there are unofficial app images as well, one of which I do happen to use. Quite a big fan of, of app images. So, as you can see through this glass floor here there is something go that goes on behind here and we get to that that's this is the jail we're going into the jail now uh, I suppose we could perhaps call it the dungeon but this is it's really more of a jail I don't think we've ever actually had to put anyone in the jail so hop down Oh, this is quite. Oh yeah, and the um, the, the 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 entry towers as well. So this is oh this is the visitation room. Yeah, that was good. You know, we let we let them have visitors. We let the prisoners have visitors. Very important, of course. And this is it. Yeah, these are the cells. These are the showers. Nice. We give. We let them have their. Yeah. Well, you know. It's. Uh, they are. They are certainly. You know. Stone and chains and all that. And th those are scratches colours, which. Um, I believe in heraldry they're called bastard arms, where. Um, they're sort of not not correct because usually with with heraldic colours, um, you'll have, uh, like a metal which is usually um, silver or gold, or. Um, white or yellow that's how they're usually denoted and then you'll have like a, f a fabric color which would usually be green blue red black so, um and i believe purple if you're of royalty um i think i'm missing or and then so you'd have a combination of one metal and one one color so my colors for example are white or silver and um, and green. So there we go. This is this is some like an underground secret garden, which I believe is. Uh, uh, oh, we can we can go down. Uh, oh yeah, we can go down a lot deeper. I remember now. This is worth this is worth having a look at. So this is this is the underground basement level in the uh, in in the castle. Uh, am I right in thinking there's a secret room here that, yeah, we never really did much with the secret room. This is the fighting uh, arena where you can train to fight. Got a Coca-Cola machine for some reason. As you can see, beams. There's a small, small little passageway here that will uh, take us through. Okay, yeah, this is a long one. Uh, this is a long tunnel into where I think we'll eventually go into the bar. The, um... The harbour bar. Okay. Yeah. This is like a bar restaurant. Down by the harbour. This is quite nice, actually. Very low ceiling. Of course, as you do. Very low ceilings, quite common in in sort of old uh, old pubs and all that business. Uh, so this is uh, it's night time. I don't know if it's still night time or whether or not the cycle went round quickly. Scratches ship. Oh, that looks scratches ship looks pretty cool at night, doesn't it? Uh, and this is yeah, this is a pretty cool bar actually. Um, the only problem with this bar, obviously, kind of gets flooded a lot. But there we go. And this bar actually is outside of the castle. So if I hop up 
onto the roof. Can I hop off? I can't hop off. But maybe if you go back a little bit. There we go. You can see sort of the castle entrance right up there, right in the center of the screen there. Which is kind of interesting. Um, and there's a building over there. Which I'm not entirely certain. That's not inside the castle. The, this is all outside of the castle. So, hmm. But pretty cool nevertheless. So this is a good opportunity to actually take this uh, this tunnel and go straight into the, uh, the castle gates. Um, yeah, this is quite long because, as you may have imagined, we built sections of the castle not necessarily in like a sequ sequ sequential neat order, and then we decided to link as much together in as many different interesting ways as possible. And as a result of that. You get, some, you get a few peculiar tunnels, and that's all part of the fun, that's all part of the fun. Um, yeah, my castle on Vanessa's server is definitely too sort of square and gridded, and I've been trying to make it a bit more, a bit more fluid um, as time goes by. I think I might need to up the ante on that one, to be honest. It's still too square. Maybe building like another keep that looks completely different to the others might be, might be interesting. So this is what inside one of the keep, uh, one of the, uh, the towers, the entry towers. I no, uh, yes. So we're inside one of those. So we'll go. We'll, just, we'll go to the top uh, of the tower. This is another one where it's, it gets a little bit interesting, where there are no sort of like, you know, it's designed not to be easy to navigate uh, by design. This is one of the one of the floors, but it looks nice, and th this takes you right back onto the battlements. Um, yeah, this takes you right back onto the battlements where we uh, where we were not too long ago. It doesn't look too bad at night, actually. It looks very really, it looks rather nice at night. So we're up here. Uh, I believe we have. also go up here as well through these spiral lots of spiral staircases can't imagine they look particularly great going up on uh, on video but such is life there we go now I'm gonna try I'm gonna hop down on here the bridge that links the two uh, the two castles uh, the two towers rather so I don't know if you can see it. That light down there, I think, is like where the bar is. Mm. And this, you can see the portcullis, the top of the portcullis, which is pretty good. It's not a working portcullis, unfortunately. Um, and then we can go down here, and that's it, really. That is, uh, that's the f sort of the front of the castle now. So I'll, um, uh, where else can I go? I mean, it's yeah, we're. We're already quite a few minutes into the video, and uh, and for the most part, I've only just shown you the front of the uh, front of the castle. Um, so I'll take you I'll take you around the wall. I think is probably the best thing to do. That is Jessica's house, uh, very brightly coloured on the inside, very nice. And I believe there is a secret door in there somewhere that takes you into the inside of this part of the castle wall, which is also pretty cool. Uh, and then you can get from Jessica's house. Uh, as you can see, that's Jessica's house. Um, yeah, oh no, it's, it's not secret. But it's like you can see the sort of the the the, the roughness of the, the the building here. That much of the uh, much of the world here is uh, much of the space between the, the castle walls. It's unrefined. We'll call it un unrefined. That's. Um, the Thundercats gate. And oh yeah, this leads us straight up onto the t the, the upper garden with that artificial uh, garden up here that I uh, that I mentioned. Um, down here we've got another church. Um, I believe that one's also multi-denominational and that's like a lower garden which you can get to. So Oh yeah, Scratch has written Linux across the side of his tower. Now, I'm not going to go into all the I interiors, partly because a lot of the interiors were covered in the previous video, and they haven't really changed much. Another chapel there. Okay, we've got a few chapels, haven't we? 
The Windows 10 Chapel. Yep, we accept all, all um, faiths here. Linux and Windows. Um, and yeah, the, these. This is a tower along the wall. Um, I believe Scratch was awarded a a wall tower for services to the realm. And I think he did a pretty good job at building one. So good for Scratch. There's also another tower. We did name the towers. Cannot remember the towers. Uh, towers names. That's uh, that very much is my bad. And there we go. Oh man, I gotta admit, um, Lucius's or Lucifer's tower uh, is definitely, you know, wonderfully designed and uh, very aesthetically pleasing. Undeniable. Um, now, I'm going to head down to it. Won't go inside Lucius's tower uh, for the simple reason of uh, I went in there last time and it's not the you know it's it's not hugely interesting uh, to go inside like it's it, you, you see what is what you would very much expect to see so from here we'll go into it we'll like we'll definitely visit it this um we can go on the other side of this wall so the wall even though there is like a big the set of battlements here that is completely inside the walls of the other castle there was a time when the two castles were separate and Lucius slash Lucifer Lucifer um, built the castle as a neighbouring castle oh the devil's chapel sorry not multi-denominational devil's chapel right gotta keep track of all the religions in this castle um so uh, and then eventually, uh, over time, Lucifer became incorporated into the uh, into the castle walls, um, and actually maintained a substantial section of the castle wall, which is pretty cool, if you ask me. Okay, it's coming up to daytime, which is nice because so this is yeah. So I mean, you can even see inside Lucifer's chapel there, Lucifer's chapel. Sorry. I'm, I'm going to sort of uh, side with the uh, hope that uh, both both names are acceptable. Uh, and then, yeah, so here's the, here's the beer hall. I believe there is a secret uh, passageway in through the beer hall. So, party village. Oh, I don't even know what's in here. And I never will, because that is private private building there okay so Pate uh, built a village towards the latter end of the uh, castle's development um, largely single-handedly as a sole project and uh, it's beautiful um, and I'm probably for the most part going to be ending the video here because I don't believe there's there's, there's too much else um, yeah, but these wonderful, like, wooden buildings, uh, are, are, you know, like, just the, they just, they just evoke such a lovely sort of, um, you know, medieval castly fantasy atmosphere. Uh, now, the Parte village is not considered, uh, within the castle walls. This is, seems to be still something of a neighbouring project, but that being said, as you can see, Lucius's walls do sort of close round it, so in, in practice and in day-to-day uh, -day politics, we do consider Parte's village under the protection of the realm, and under the protection of the castle, even if, um, uh, even if it holds uh, a uh, uh, official independence. It's like, we're all friends here, we're certainly not at war, you know, we all bring strengths, we're great trading partners. Um, whether or not, whatever official label you want to put on it is fine, it, you know, but in practice, uh, an attack on Parte is an attack on Castle Village. 
So, there we go, got some, uh, I don't even know how to get to the back of that, I, I assume it's through this building. And yeah, um, these buildings are also designed very sort of intricately and, and, and interestingly as well. Um, and you can get lost in them, definitely. There is also a secondary docks here. Uh, where ships can come in uh, through the jungle, uh, through the jungle biome, um, which you know makes a lot of sense because, to be honest, to get from one side of the castle, especially if you were um, uh, transporting goods, you know, you probably would want to to do them by do them by sea anyway. Rather than because it's like there's a lot of stairs in the castle, moving goods around is just not, just not practical really, is it? Uh, you know, just to carry it by hand. And then there's a little cavern here, which just seems to be a place where where like sort of sailors and dock workers sort of hang out. It, it's not as polished as the other dockside bar establishment, but what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So, uh, and there are there are castle walls here, and there is a solid keep in uh, in the Parte village. So it's not like Parte village isn't capable of protecting itself from most most threats that you would see. I mean, it looks lovely. You got Scratch's tower over there. Uh, ben Rob's tree trunk over there as well. Lovely checkered flooring. You know, more, more hospitality rooms and uh, beer halls and all that business. And then, you, yeah, which overlooks the jungle. Oh my word. And that is sort of the sheer side of... Uh, where the castle protects. So we're not looking at getting invaded from that side. Uh, for you know, unless they they, they want to climb up a sheer cliff face. Oh, I like the the bales of hay there. It's a real nice touch, actually. Parte, who designed the village, uh, definitely, definitely, definitely has some wonderful mind test design skills going on. Um, it would have been amazing if they'd have come in from the the, the uh, castle design from the start. Uh, and as you can see, that's that's where. Uh, Lucifer's uh, keep. I mean, I suppose the square keep of, of Lucifer um, is, is the keep, and then the walls sort of do extend out in a bit more of an organic way, as you can see here. Uh, and this bit is less developed. Uh, I haven't seen much development over uh, over any recent uh, months. And there's a there's a pyramid here, but yeah, you can see Lucifer's walls. Uh, so yeah, Lucifer manages a substantial section of the walls here. Um, there are bits and pieces around, but there's just so much to this castle. Uh, it's quite remarkable, really, quite remarkable. So I think that's about it, really. There. Uh, Hmm. Well, there's a, there's a building here. Not sure what this one is. Oh, this is nice. Wonder where it goes. Dare I ask? Dare I follow? Oh, lovely, intricately designed. Oh, this is just a maze. Oh. So these are these are yeah these are sort of living quarters that uh, exist underground, which is uh, which is pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to head out here before I start getting lost. Um, wonderful project to work on. Had uh, many 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 amazing hours enjoying uh, Castle Village. Uh, honestly, I think it's probably time to draw a line under it and call it done. So I'm going to just head up now. Frame rate does kind of uh, drop a little bit just because there are so many things involved here. Uh, this 
So I'm not even entirely sure what this is. Did someone build this in addition? Well, uh, there's a tree house over there. That's been there for quite some time. So there, there, there are lands and buildings that sort of occupy around the castle and have popped up over time as well. Not entirely sure what this random bit of wall's doing here. Maybe it's a test wall. There we go, that's the... Maybe it's something to do with He-Man. I don't know, like some 80s cartoon. Um, so yeah, excuse the drop in frame rate, but you sort of zoom out. And there we go. In fact, I could probably even... yeah. And then I'll just do a little uh, screenshot there. Um... But that's it, you know, that that's the castle. That is the castle village. Um, it's wonderful. I had a great time working on it. Um, I can't even imagine the amount of time that we collectively spent on it as well. We spent many live streams working on it. Uh, there is a version, an older version, where we do a bit of a tour on this channel as well. This will probably be part of the playlist uh, of other, you know, where I, I tour through Hex's mind test server as well. Uh, I also have to do, throw in the obligatory apolo uh, apology that if I ever called mind test Minecraft throughout the point of this video, I am sorry, I'm talking about mind test, not Minecraft, but obviously because Minecraft has, has permeated uh, the, the, the lexicon so thoroughly, sometimes it just slips in. Anyway, an absolutely beautiful village. Um, it's a shame Red Cat Creative didn't catch up to, to version 5. I don't know if an upgrade would have uh, thrown a lot of their mods uh, out of support or whether or not they're... You know, like, there are... Red Cat Creative is used for various other projects that I'm not part of. So I don't really understand. Uh, th there's probably some very uh, sensible reasons as to why they've not moved over to, f to the version five of, of Mind Test, and that's that's fine. Run your server as you see fit. It would be a shame to lose a lot of great work as a result of an as a, a result of an upgrade. But um, yeah, absolutely wonderful. Uh, an absolutely wonderful. Uh, castle I feel thank you m very much to everyone who who helped me along the way uh, be it just a small building like what ozone did and a dungeon to go with it or whether or not you built huge amounts of wall like Lucifer or scratch uh, I think Linux ponies involved um, there there are countless people Ben Rob parte um, and I, I'm, I'm uh, Jessica. God, I, miss, I'm, I know I'm missing out like quite a few people uh, and I do apologize for that but thank you to everyone who who helped me um, it's uh, it's been fun it's been amazing and I look forward to building a lot more mind test castles and other se such um, uh, such structures so that's about it for me today thank you guys very much for watching and until next time I've been Chris Ware and you've been uh, you've been awesome Toodaloo.